Hello friends, my name is Palash. Please uh, welcome to my next video. Uh, today we'll discuss uh, on a fact that uh, people are looking for 3 minute exposure for 300 degrees at the perinition tunnel and this is the most um, you know uh, repeatedly asked questions what I face nowadays and uh, let's see whether it is a myth or a fact uh, in my upcoming slides. So before uh, proceeding for upcoming uh, slides, I would like to request you all to subscribe my channel PRESS, P-R-E-S, Pharmaceutical Resource and Education Services and uh, press the bell icon to get notification of my all upcoming video. So friends, not less than a 3 log reduction in recoverable endotoxin is used as a standard for process validation of depyrogenation tunnel. The log reduction is calculated by determining the measured log of recoverable endotoxin in the unprocessed item, which is not unprocessed, minus the measured log of recoverable endotoxin remaining in the process item, which is exposed in heat during the study. So that's how you can able to calculate uh, how much log reduction you have achieved during the process. Now let's connect to the FD value. Calculation of FD value at each probe. Consider penetration probe I'm talking about. Each probe locations may be helpful tool, sorry, useful tool to help in assessing probes comparability, evaluation process repeatability or cooling area so what is the importance of fd value we can we can correlate we can assess when we will have a periodic requalifications or routine requalifications we can able to understand based on this thermal based on this physical parameter how our process is moving whether any kind of shift whether any kind of deteriorations of our equipment that's how fd is important this is no more connected with your endotoxin killing we only can compare how much fd we achieve when we demonstrate this acceptance criteria so there is no minimum fd value acceptance criteria are demonstrated for depenetration process endotoxin inactivation efficiencies cannot be accurately correlated uh, with stand of dry heat lethality conventions FD which rely upon the linear destruction. So with thermal you cannot able to make a correlations with the endotoxins. Both are run in a different kinetics, right? Depenetration process typically operate a range of a temperature approximately 220 degree to 400 degree. FD1 is defined as a depenetration effect achieved by minimum one minute at 250 degree so here friends just remember when your process run in 250 degree temperature by exposing one minute we'll be getting fd is one if we equivalent the statement with the moist heat then what we learn in the moist heat if your process is exposed for a one minute in 121 degree centigrade temperature your f0 value will be one that's how we are making an equivalency here when we talking about the depositions we talk about the temperature of exposure of 250 degree and we talk about in seat of f0 here we talk about fd value and we'll see our upcoming slide how you can change the temperature and time and how fd is getting you know varied uh, with this two parameter so let's switch to our next slide Considering different time and temperature as I'm talking about set point during thermal study will be provide variation in delivered FD value. So as we learn in moist installation as well, when you change the temperature and time set point, your FD value will be changed. Demonstrating more than equivalent to greater than equivalent to 3 log reduction endotoxin with reduced time temperature condition for those utilize in routine processing will consider as a successful depyrogenation so here our intent is we should get greater than equivalent to three log reductions 
The FD value achieved during the study can be compared with the periodic FD value to ensure system operated in a validated state of control and there is no significant non-conformance during the process. So friends, so here uh, we are not proposing in a, each and every time you challenge with endotoxin when, whenever it's the requalifications are uh, periodic requalifications and where FD can be very beneficial, uh, you literally can uh, verify or compare with the FD is generated during your initial qualifications that might be satisfy, you know, the process are running in the similar conditions and your system is unaltered during the time span. Therefore, FD active with uh, the validated recipe and predefined equipment setting so here uh, it's required to have some critical process setting as well like time temperature bell speed air velocity and differential pressure these are the few critical attributes which can impact your fd value and that is considered as a critical control for to review during routine batch processing hence therefore it is very important that every article in the tunnel be exposed at least the stated temperature of what you have defined during the qualifications and not less than the stated time as well which you have established during your initial qualification so friends it's quite open language we are not recommending any kind of temperature and time set point and that is not we that is the regulatory and guidance they are not talking about any kind of specific time at temperature set point it's all about you need to demonstrate your uh, log reduction greater than equivalent to three log reductions and you need to consider that time and temperature set point for periodic review as well so this is the formula for calculating the AFD. You can see T1, T2, T1 is the starting process time and T2 is the end process time. And 10 to the power T minus 125, T is the desired temperature you just want to set for your machine and 250 is the standard one and uh, divided by 50 and this is the delta. So delta is the time interval between your temperature measurement. So here we can see the calculation. Suppose our set temperature is 300 degree and we give 3 minutes, then the FD will be 30. And this FD can be vary based on the changing in the 300 and 3 set point. This calculation I have shown to clarify how to how to calculate the FD, not to specify anything that you need to run your system for 300 for 3 minutes. That is a myth. That is not actually the fact that you need to establish during establish or, or you need to I can say validate it with the endotoxin recovery. So if, if I'm talking about the U annex of one, uh, it is stated that when a depenetration process is used for any component or product contact equipment, validation study should to be performed to demonstrate that the process will result in minimum three log reduction of endotoxin. And please, please attention here. There is no additional requirement to demonstrate selection of, of these cases. So this is our requirement. So let's uh, focus on a couple of definitions. What is definition process? It is a series of actions or operations need to be achieved. The specific requirements for removal of or inactivation of pyrogen. So what is depenetration? It is a validated process designed to remove or inactivate the depenetration material by a specified quantity which is monitored by inactivation of endotoxin. And what is inactivation? Loss of ability of microorganism to grow and or multiply. So here I would like to demonstrate a few critical process parameters that should to be considered during validations or routine processing should to be included and but may not be limited to so uh, as i discussed build speed or the dual time within the uh, sterilizing zone uh, temperature and minimum maximum temperature heat penetrations of material or article heat distribution or we can say the uniformity of the chamber airflow correlate with the heat distribution and heat penetration studies Friends, references are mentioned here where from we took this argument. So you can follow the European Pharmacopoeia, uh, PDA tier 3 and AMI 
uh, ISO document and you can follow the USB as well. So here we'd like to conclude that exposure at 3 minute at 300 degree necessary for deep ionization in the tunnel qualifications it's considered as a myth. A log reductions or, or a three log reductions of a standard endotoxin challenge is typical and however a lower level of reduction can be validated uh, provided that uh, the program is in place to ensure that the pyrogen levels are in control to the validated limit. So here friends, so um, the minimum requirement is three log reductions and it can be minimum as well if you can able to demonstrate your processes will control and there is no higher level of pyrogen uh, in your system. Please reach to us as mail to uscgmp at the gmail.com if you need any further clarification, questions, or any topic you want, we should discuss in our upcoming discussion. Thank you very much. Uh, we will see you in my, our upcoming videos.